Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can't believe I got that. I can't believe I got that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like I say, I'm pretty pleased about that Chopper Hunter gameplay. Or not Chopper Hunter gameplay, Chopper Hunter clipped. Because it's been a long time since I've added a little bird into my collection. And other than that, I also shot the thing through goddamn trees. So, uh, very little line of sight. I was lucky I even got the kill. I didn't think it was... I thought it was going to miss completely. And just like many of my kills do. Like, some of my Chopper Hunter clips you see are like... You shoot him in a really weird spot, and you don't expect him to hit, uh, and somehow, some way, it ends up killing him. And I guess the most, the best example for this was my five-year anniversary YouTube video, and the last clip I had in the montage I added at the end of the video, the last clip I had was a, um, it was a chopper hunter kill of me shooting somebody in the tail and it looked like it missed completely and I still killed him and my reaction to that video or my my reaction to that clip pretty much summed up that whole thing it was and that's basically what I'm trying to say is that I don't I'm surprised I even hit it now what you're currently watching is my last game I ever played during the For Honor beta because after this game I think the servers were shutting down in about a half hour so I said fuck it because uh, we ended up losing this game so I was pretty pissed so I said fuck this I'm gonna leave and I deleted the beta off my shit I didn't see a point in playing it for another 30 minutes because the servers got really bad so yeah it's a, it's a 4v4 PvP and it's uh we end yeah you know, we ended up losing but I did my best to help my team win at the end because I was running around like a fucking madman trying to revive somebody and hoping to God that we were gonna end up pulling the W but my team was just outplayed on so many occasions it was baffling how many times we got outplayed anyway but that's not really the even though I have this gameplay in the background the commentary part actually has nothing to do with this game. It actually has something to do about Call of Duty. Now, many of you who have been following me either from the beginning or, you know, within the last year or so, you know for a fact that I don't play Call of Duty anymore. I haven't played Call of Duty in close to a year because Black Ops 3 remains to be one of the worst Call of Duties I think I've ever played. A lot of people enjoy it, and if you enjoy it, hey, that's, that's your opinion. I found it very very hard to enjoy that game I knew I was gonna have trouble playing this game from the very beginning the first game I played I knew this game was gonna be rough for me to play and it, it's it's a it's baffling to me because I will tell you a little something here every the last two Call of Duties I've played were Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 both of which had the boost jumping the boost jumping Call of Duties, for some reason, I don't do good in at all. I don't do good in at all. I don't know why. It just happens. I, I somehow get outplayed at every turn, even though I'm trying to do... I'm trying to mimic, in a way, what other people are doing. And I get outplayed every single time, and it's it, get, it got really fucking frustrating. And I just... I said, fuck it. I don't want to play this game anymore. I just, I don't see a point in playing it. It's b just bad. It was an awful game in my opinion. Same thing with Advanced Warfare. Well, I guess I was talking about Black Ops 3, but same thing with Advanced Warfare. The weapon variance in that game is what killed that game for me because every time, I no matter how many uh, supply drops I got, which I guess weren't a lot because I barely played the game, I never got a really, well, I got a few decent weapons, but I never got a really good weapon. You know what I'm talking about? So, it was very, um, I was very angry with that game. I think the weapon variants in that game killed it for me. And in Black Ops 3, it's just the randomness of it. Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 were both too random for me, for my taste. And I say this because, um, I say this because the boost jumping added, a, like, a, 
I guess, yeah, the boost jumping added a randomness to, to the game that I didn't think should have been in there to, to begin with. Especially in Advanced Warfare, because there were plenty of times where I, I went to, um, I went to shoot somebody, and I was close to killing them, and all of a sudden he boost jumps out of the way, and I lose him. That's how the boost jumping in that game was a pain, because that, I couldn't find them at all. What else? So, those games are, were incredibly hard for me to play. I didn't enjoy playing them at all, to be honest. And it's funny because Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2 are games I do significantly better in. So I came to the realization, especially over the last few months, that I was playing Black Ops 1. I've mostly been playing Black Ops 1 the last few, the last month and a half or so. And... It's actually really cool. Be it's actually really good because I'm even though the game is old as shit, not many people play it. I mean, I think the most I've seen is probably about thirty something thousand. Um, and I still shit on people in that game. I I feel like I'm back to my old self again. And I say this because back in the day, I when I played Wii Black Ops Three, I was a fucking beast. I was a monster at it. And it turns out that over the last month and a half, I've rekindled that monster, so to speak. And I've been shitting on people left and right in that game. So I'm very happy about that. And I have gameplays to prove it, too. I have gameplays to prove it. That's how awesome they are. That is how awesome those gameplays are. Now... This is where the real... This is where, like, the real talk comes in with my commentaries. Now, there's been news that's been leaked. I'm going to put air quotes up. You can't see me, but they're up. Air quotes up that uh, there's been an image that's been leaked of what the new Call of Duty game could possibly be. And it's Call of Duty World War II, as appears from the photo that Charlie Intel linked and that all these YouTubers are talking about, including myself. Um... There was also the news that everybody was going gaga over was that when Sledgehammer released a statement saying Call of Duty was going back to its roots. And I really I really took that statement with a grain of salt. I wanted I wanted boots in the ground on the ground back so bad in that game. And if that's what I interpreted as as many other people did, but I still don't trust Sledgehammer. I to me Bringing Call of Duty back to its roots consists of a few things. Boots on the ground, no weapon variants, no j uh, no randomness with the fucking boost jumping, even though I guess that and boots on the ground are pretty much the same thing. And the community has to at least be somewhat united to an extent. I thought that was going to happen with when... Um, what do you call? I thought that was going to happen when uh, Modern Warfare Remastered was released. I couldn't be more wrong. Turns out that game is now just as bad as Infinite Warfare, which is I didn't buy Infinite Warfare. I think the game looks like shit. I, th I think the game looks like it plays like shit. It's basically a carbon copy of Black Ops 3, so I don't want to fucking play it at all. So, you can count me out. I want nothing to do with that game. I didn't buy it for Modern Warfare. I didn't even buy it for Modern Warfare Remastered. Modern Warfare Remastered was not worth it. And now I see. And now I realize that this the decision I made was fan fucking tastic. Because they added everything that people hate about now today's Call of Duty, and they decided to put it in a remake of Modern Warfare of not Modern Warfare of well yeah Modern Warfare One. So, everyone is now, re mostly everyone, re or people with brains anyway, reject Modern Warfare Remastered for this reason. Because they added the supply drops, they want you to pay more, they want you to pay pretty much the same amount for a regular DLC. And, it's just, it's just a shit show. Activision is fucking awful. I think Activision are probably one of the worst businesses I think I've ever fucking seen. Um, they, the way they don't listen to their audience whatsoever. That's another thing. Call of Duty 
when Call of Duties were made back in the day, I'm pretty sure the developers at least listened to the audience. And it's even more baffling how Infinite Warfare, from what I've heard anyway, um, apparently Infinite Warfare took um, three months to get leaderboards in the game. See, that's something that should have been in the game to begin with, but like I said, they worry about the fucking supply drops. The point I'm trying to make is, this is not Call of Duty's roots. Everything I've just mentioned up to this point is not what Call of Duty's roots are. If Sledgehammer can somehow take all that shit that's been in the game for the last three years and completely dump it into a fucking trash can and burn it in the, in the dumpster, this game may, quote-unquote, may be saved. I quite frankly think I kind of want Call of Duty to die, to be honest. I, I hope Sledgehammer fucks this game up so bad that no one buys another Call of Duty again. Because the Call of Duty community does not deserve a game that's worth everyone's time. The Call of Duty community does not deserve a game that they want. Because of who is involved with their community. Now there are some people who may disagree with that statement. And I don't give a shit whether you do or not. All I'm trying to say is this. Look at, look at the people who are in the community. Look at how they fucking operate. Apparently some people are like, oh I reject this. And then um, a week later they say, oh this is a great idea. Meaning like, let's put it this way. Meaning supply drops or the recent DLC that Modern Warfare Remastered got. Everyone was like, oh, I reject this. And now they're like, now all of a sudden they're like, oh, I completely agree with this now. No. That's what I said before. The, com the community does not deserve a, new, a, good, a game that is worth, that will save this franchise. Like I said, I hope this game fucking dies. I don't mind playing Battlefield the rest of my fucking existence. I think Battlefield 1, in my personal opinion has been better than the last two Call of Duties that I played, which was Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. I think Battlefield 4 is a better game than a lot of the games, a lot, a, the same thing, the last two Call of Duties I played. I enjoy the shit out of both games. Even if I do bad, uh, I, still have some, I still have some amount of fun. In the end, that's what matters. Now, I guess in closing... I'm taking all this World War II shit with a grain of salt. I don't expect Sledgehammer to actually succeed in doing what what they're doing. Because they're the ones that implemented the bullshit that Call of Duty has. Now, anyway. So, unless... If Call of Duty... If they really want to bring Call of Duty back to its roots, so to speak... They would just completely fucking take away everything that's ruined this game the last three years. And that's all you have to do. Anyway, like I said, whether you agree with my statements or not, I don't really give a fuck. I'm just trying to help you all understand that there is more... There, there is more than this nostalgia that Call of Duty YouTubers want to put on you. Sure, Call of Duty may just be... Call of Duty may just be saved, but who really knows? Take everything you hear in the next few months until you see a trailer. Until you see an official trailer, take everything you hear for the next few months with a grain of salt. And with that being said, folks, my name is Edgier626. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Like I said, my team got shit on. And there's nothing more I can really say. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Thank you for all the support you gave me on my For Honor videos. It was something a little different I wanted to bring to the channel. And I think it re went relatively well. So, once again, I'll see you all on the next video.